color and play by play was off the charts good. Like, okay, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. So we had Kevin Kelly and Nigel McGinnis. Of course, uh, a lot of us have seen uh, Nigel doing his thing over on the NXT UK brand. And of course, Kevin Kelly has been the voice of New Japan here in America for a long, long time. Uh, I like that pairing. I think a lot of Kevin Kelly and certainly, you know, Nigel, I don't know if you got to see much of his in-ring work in Ring of Honor. I know you saw some in Impact, but man, what a, what a talent. Uh, I like that duo. It worked for me. It, it was, I have to admit, a little different not hearing Excalibur or Taz or Tony. Like those voices, besides JR, we're going to get to JR. He's in the main event. Um, it, it felt a little weird, like no JR, no Tony, no Excalibur, no Taz. But I think that's a good thing. I mean, one of the things you learned in WCW is maybe there was overexposure of Tony Schiavone back then. He was on yep. Saturday night. He was on Nitro. He was on Thunder. So I like switching it up. You were pleased with the job that Nigel and Kevin Kelly did? Beyond pleased. I, 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 I thought it was the freshest, most significant improvement in any one element of an overall production than anything that I've seen <clears throat> probably in 10 years, it was, it was that good. It, it look, and this is their first time out. I know they both respectively have had, you know, plenty of experience doing this, but together on this show live new show pressure live first time really working together. I think, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong when I'm wrong, but man, I thought, Here's what I thought. I can't wait to hear them a month from now. Wow. Because if they were that good Saturday night, once they get their groove and their rhythm together after doing it a few times, point me to another, potentially, not there yet, point me to another, a better color and play-by-play team, and I'll tell you that you're wrong. Here's what I liked, and I'll tell you why. Now, could it be better? And I hope somebody from there, I hope either one of them are listening to this because my, my intentions are truly constructive here, regardless of how you take it or how your ego takes it. My intention is completely supportive. All right. There's, there was still a little bit of a tendency for Kevin Kelly in particular to do color commentary. Too, there was too much, there were too many points during the course of the color and play by play for this match that yeah, Kevin, Kevin would go in and out of color and play by play. Leave color to Nigel. Nigel's been in the ring. Nigel could talk about his experience. Nigel can talk about what is likely going through the minds of the people in the ring and explain why they're doing and what they're doing. Let Nigel bring us inside of the mind of the talent in the ring. And Kevin, you describe what's going on inside of that ring. Like it's the most important thing in your life. Don't go in and out of it. Imagine being on a tight rope, tight wire. And the only way you're not going to fall off one side or the other is if you're focusing on what's going on inside of the ring or what's going on outside of the ring or how people are reacting to what's going on. Bring me inside of that arena in your seat and explain it all to me as if I couldn't see. That's your job. Let Nigel be Nigel and let him be the color expert. And that if you do that consistently, I don't think that you could find a better color and play by play team right now. Nigel did a great job on color. He and I I caught him catching himself a few times to make sure that he did exactly what I was just describing a good color man should do. Like he stopped himself and went back and made sure he was clear. It was subtle, so subtle. But I was so thoroughly impressed. And I think because they did such a great job is why I feel as good as I do about this particular match that otherwise would not have really captured my imagination. 